Hey everybody, I'm Holly, aka the Scientology Geek, and we are finally back at the Data Series. Um, the last one we had was part 6, I believe, and we had just finished the Sanity Policy Letter. So, I thought today we'd at least start... I don't know if we're going to finish because I don't know how long it is. We're going to start Errors, which is the HCO Policy Letter of the 23rd of May, 1970. Let's just dive right into it. Many who begin to use illogics, who have not drilled on them so they can rattle them off, choose errors instead of outpoints. An error may show something else. It's nothing in itself. An error obscures or alters a datum. For an example, asking someone to spot the outpoints in a Russian passenger vacation cruise liner in a foreign port, the answers were, the hammer and sickle are upside down. The courtesy flag is not flying right side up. These aren't outpoints. The hammer and sickle weren't backwards, so saying it was was an outpoint. The actual outpoint was passenger vacation cruise liner. There is no Russian idol class. It was too big to be giving cruises to winning tractor drivers. Russian and vacation cruise liner just don't go together. Either the reports of Russian refusal to let Russians travel is false, or it wasn't a vacation cruise liner, but it was. I don't quite know what that means. Hence, it's an outpoint, an omitted datum. Is it an omitted datum or just something wrong? Because I thought that was supposed to be an error. Two contrary data means one is false. Investigation disclosed it was Russian all right and a vacation cruise liner all right, but it was chartered to an Italian company that sold cruises to Italians. So that was the error? Was that it was being chartered to another company? It was a Russian cruise liner. It was a Russian passenger vacation cruise liner that was going to Italy. There's nothing wrong about this phrase because that's exactly what it was. It was just being used, chartered by an Italian company. I don't see the freaking problem, Hubbard. But this leads to a new outpoint. How come the worker's paradise is building huge ships for capitalist pleasures? If anyone like a Martian was tracing down what's out on this planet, this one outpoint would lead to others. A situation analysis would indicate an investigation of Russia where outpoints abound and the Martian would know a lot of what's wrong on the planet. In doing so, he would find a lot of capitalistic outpoints which would lead him to investigate the so-called West and he would have the basic Cold War of Communism versus Capitalism. This would lead him into new data the two have in common. Economics and a data analysis of economics would discover the screwiest bunch on the planet, the international banker playing off both sides. He would have analyzed the planet. So here we, here we get into the conspiracy, again, with the international bankers. This is... Reminds me of, I think it was Ron's Journal 67. He was talking about a conspiracy of like less than 12 men, and quite a few of whom were international bankers that were against Scientology. They ran all the newspaper groups and all the psychiatric groups, or some, something like that. It was just weird. Given that he knew or could translate languages, it might take him a week, starting with a Russian luxury cruise liner, to run down the planetary bad spot. Now, if he reversed his investigation and used plus points, he would arrive with a situation analysis of what group would be strong enough to handle the down spot, and by investigation, possibly pinpoint what could tip over the bad spot. If he just used errors, he would get no place. I still... I don't know if this is making sense to you guys, but I still don't understand what the hell an error is. This was just my guess. So... The omitted datum was that the cruise liner was being chartered to Italians. An error obscures or alters a datum. Okay, so an error leads to an outpoint? So Hubbard's saying if he looked at all the positive spots, he would find a group strong enough to handle the down spot. So he's using good data to find the bad data. The problem is, I think here, he would need to know 
what an ideal scene is on this planet. The ideal he would have to be working from would be a planet at peace. Okay, here we go. Here's the ideal. I didn't even read that. The ideal he would have to be working from would be a planet at peace where individuals could go about their affairs and be happy without threats of immediate arrest or destruction. It'd be a very simple ideal as it would be based only on how planetary populations and cultures survive, and that's already laid down in an earlier rule in this series. Ask somebody to look at a table used for meals at the end of a meal and indicate any out points. Usually he'll point out a dirty plate or crumbs or an ashtray not empty. They are not out points. When people finish eating, one expects dirty plates, crumbs, and full ashtrays. If none of these things were present, there might be several out points to note. The end of a meal with table and plates all clean would be a reversed sequence. That would be an out point. Evidently, the dinner has been omitted, and that would be quite an out point. Obviously, no meal has been served, so there's a falsehood. So here are three out points. The end of a meal with table and plates all clean. I mean, that would be weird. It's best to get what out points are down pat. One does this first by thinking up examples and then by observing some body of data, then by looking at various scenes. We found that out points are really few unless the activity is very irrational. Simple errors, on the other hand, can be found in legions in any scene. Child's games often include, what's wrong with this picture? Usually they're just errors like a road sign upside down. But if you had a brown rabbit in winter holding down a man with its front paws and a caption, Japanese parasols attack blank, you'd have some real out points. So out points are just craziness. A lot of people would try to figure it out and supply new out points, being reasonable. A learned professor could point out the symbolism. Some would laugh it off. Some would be annoyed by it. And the reason anybody would do anything about it is that it's sort of painful to confront the irrational. So instead of seeing its isness of illogics, an effort is made to make it logical or to throw it away. This actually kind of, that part, that last part makes sense when it comes to trying to rationalize things that don't make sense. Such as cults. People are thrown into so many mental gymnastics trying to make things make sense instead of just admitting that things are irrational. They may have, they may be financially invested or time wise invested. But there are a lot of reasons that people will try to avoid cognitive dissonance. That's the phrase cognitive dissonance. The reason misunderstood words or typographical errors were not regarded as a barrier to study was that people converted them or not is them. In actual fact, a word one does not understand makes a missing datum. Reasonableness or non-confront enter in, and one drops the book. And uh, again, here we see that reasonable is a bad word. Reasonable is a negative thing. So tell me you're not a cult when you define the word, redefine the word reasonable, and tell people it's a bad thing. Errors do not count in plus points either. That a factory has a few errors is no real indicator. A factory has plus points to the degree it attains its ideal and fulfills its purpose. That some of its machinery needs repair might not even be an out point. If the general machinery of the place is good for enough years to easily work off its replacement value, there's a plus point. People applying fixed or wrong ideals to scene are only pointing up errors in their own ideals, not those of the scene. A reformer who had a strict Dutch mother looks at a primitive Indian settlement and sees children playing in the mud and adults going about unclothed. He forces them to live cleanly and cuts off the sun by putting them in clothes. They lose their immunities required to live and die off. He missed the plus point that these Indians had survived hundreds of years in this area that would kill a white man in a year. Thus, errors are usually a comparison to one's personal ideals. Out points compare to the ideal for that particular scene. In a situation analysis, according to Hubbard, using plus points instead of just out points can help you to find out points. Like I said, I think I know what error means in this case, but it's still confusing me. It is nothing in itself. So why give it a definition? If it is nothing in itself, then how the fuck can you explain it? So errors lead to things. That's what I'm assuming 
but I still can't get my head on straight with this. This is just a confusing mess of terminology and garbage. So, we're about 13 minutes in. I think we are going to end off here. Just before the policy letter called The Missing Scene, which seems to have three, four, four and a quarter pages, four and a third pages. So we might get through the whole thing. I don't know. But we finished policy letter number nine. Now we're on to policy letter number 10. And I will do that in the next data series video. I have to do an unboxing first and then another OCA. Finish the OCA and then do the data series. So, like if you like the video, dislike if you don't. I don't really care. Comment with your feedback or questions, good, bad, or sideways, and subscribe to be kept up to date on future content. I'll talk to all of you later. See you.